Puerto Rico is a paradise for beach lovers, adventure seekers, and foodies, but it's also a very family-friendly destination where there are always exciting and educational activities to enjoy with your kids. If you have a kid who loves pirates, fish, or just splashing around in the water, stay tuned to find out the perfect destination for a family fun day on the north coast of Puerto Rico. If you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button so you can join us on all our adventures in Puerto Rico and around the world. We're here at the Arecibo Lighthouse in a historical park. This is a great place to bring your kids. It's a super family-friendly place. They have a water park to splash around in. There's a lot of historical exhibits where you can learn about the history of the island and the cultural heritage here. And they have a little mini zoo with donkeys and cute animals and a wonderful aquarium with native fish from Puerto Rico. It's super educational and fun for everyone. And we're starting up in the Taino village, which represents the traditional huts that the natives of Puerto Rico made. What's up? Do you want to say hi to everybody? <gasps> hi. This area is called Arasibo Taino Village. Its name comes from a Taino chief or cacique named Arasibo who used to lead his people in this region. In honor of this cacique, the town we're in was later called Arasibo. These huts are the perfect height for me. And they're actually really cool inside, like surprisingly cool. Classic design. This is a replica of the slave quarters that the Spanish would build for the African slaves they brought here. And it's really sad because apparently this is a quarter size of where they would live and they would have 200 slaves and they would be chained together at night to sleep. Um, and apparently the African slaves actually often got together with the Tainos, the natives of Puerto Rico, to revolt against the Spanish masters. So here we have some words of African origin that are actually really common words in the Spanish language now. Some of them are um, chévere, which is a really popular Spanish word all through Latin America that just means cool or great, and tostón, which is the uh, fried plantains that are really popular here, and revolú, which is like a commotion, like que revolú, like, whoa, this is wild. You will find the Niña, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria built at one-third of their original sizes. These are the ships that Christopher Columbus sailed in to reach the New World, and in his time they were considered super-fast ships with cutting-edge technology. You can board these model ships and have a fun experience while learning about them. Also, you'll find the Queen Anne Revenge, the ship owned by the famous pirate Blackbeard. We're about to enter the aquarium and zoo. We're super excited for Vesper to see some cool animals and fish. He loves fish. Let's go. Coming in. Don't be scared, Vesper. I know it's kind of scary. This is scary. The main attraction of the park is a long artificial pirate cave with an aquarium in the middle. It's a fanciful recreation of a cave along the north coast of Puerto Rico where pirates would hide their treasure. The cave features bats, pirates, skeletons, and hidden treasure. It reminds us of a haunted house combined with a certain pirate attraction at a famous theme park. Little kids are sure to be delighted by the slightly scary yet campy ambiance and the feeling of adventure. Wow, that's huge, man. Well, there's also a magnifier, but he is huge. If you love the ocean and marine life, this aquarium is a must visit in Puerto Rico. As far as we know, this is the only large aquarium on the island. Here you'll find an impressive variety of reef fish, including porcupine fish, sergeant majors, stingrays, and even moray eels and sharks. It's fun for kids and family members of all ages to identify the fish species and observe each one's unique behavior.
The main tank also features a reef built on a shipwreck that adds to the excitement. My favorite thing about this aquarium is that it's all fish from Puerto Rico. So if you ever go snorkeling, you'll be able to identify some familiar faces. This is a really beautiful, huge aquarium. It's definitely worth coming with your kids to see it. Especially since all of these fish, I think all of them almost are native fish of Puerto Rico. So it's really cool to see all of them. Look at the big porcupine fish. Look, guys, look. Look how big he is. Wow. And this looks so cool with the like pirate ship reef. Looks really cool. After the aquarium, you travel deeper into the cave and discover pirates hiding their treasure, and climb over a bridge spanning an underground river. It's a highly creative subterranean landscape that your kids are sure to find very exciting. As you leave the pirate cave, you pass through a gift shop where you can get some great mementos of your trip. Also, there's a fun bridge you can climb over to get to a crow's nest lookout where you'll find a great view of all the pirate ships in the whole park. To your left, you'll find a breathtaking boardwalk over the ocean. This is a typical, beautiful, rugged North Shore coastline of Puerto Rico. The Arecibo Lighthouse is located on the north coast of Puerto Rico, 34 miles west of San Juan. This was the last lighthouse built by the Spanish government in 1898. It's also known as Los Morillos Lighthouse because it's located on top of a rocky mountain known as Punta Morillo not to be confused with another lighthouse with the same name in Cabo Rojo. In the interior of the lighthouse, you can observe artifacts found at the bottom of the ocean, a 1910 diving suit, a replica of the U.S. Constitution, and literature relating to the history of the Arecibo Lighthouse and the Spanish-American War. Under the admission for the park, you also have access to a fun water park. The water park has slides, splash pads, boats, and other fun water features. There are also lockers and bathrooms for your convenience. They also have this super cute splash pad water park here that would be super fun for little kids. I actually think it would be fun for me too. Maybe next time. Look, she wants to go in the water park! In the mini zoo, you'll find a very friendly donkey, a huge sulcata tortoise, caimans, and other animals. Hello! Hello, donkey! Ah! <laughs> Are you gonna bite me? What do you have to I would totally pet you, but I have a baby. She already can't pet you, buddy. You're very friendly. <laughs> This is a Sulcata tortoise. They're actually really popular pets in Puerto Rico. They're fun, you can feed them vegetables and stuff and they live a really long time. Look how cool he is. Look how big. The feet are so cute. We had a wonderful time here at the Arecibo Lighthouse and Historical Park. And we can't wait to come back when Vesper's a little older so she can play in the water park. If you visit Arecibo Lighthouse and Historical Park, we recommend wearing hats, light clothing, and sunscreen. If you have kids, this park is a must visit while you're in Puerto Rico. For a romantic dinner by the water, we recommend Salitre. We're at Salitre, a wonderful seafood restaurant in Arecibo. This place brings back great memories because we got married right down the beach from here and Salitre catered our wedding and they made us such amazing paellas for a wedding. And today we're in Arecibo and we decided to come by and I ordered the smallest um, snapper that they had. <laughs> and they actually brought out the like fresh snappers on a plate so you could choose which one you wanted. And this was the smallest one. <laughs> so I think we might have ordered a little too much food for two people, but we're gonna have fun eating as much as we can. <laughs> and look at all the beautiful sides too. Here we go. Mmm. It's so light and just absolutely so fresh. This is so delicious and the crunchy skin is perfectly seasoned, it's not too salty has wonderful spices on it. 
so good. For another delicious fine dining option in Arecibo, check out Salpicón on Road 681. We're here at Salpicón, a beautiful little restaurant on the coast of Arecibo. And I ordered the arroz con pez, which is rice with land crab. I'm so excited to try it. Mm. It's delicious, it's so fresh, so crabby in the best way. It's so good. Puerto Rico is a vibrant island full of amazing food, breathtaking places, and lovely people. Please subscribe so you can enjoy exploring this incredible island with us. Thank you so much for watching and see you on our next adventure.